Elsie DeWolf began her professional life as a stage actress. After urging by her same-sex partner, Bessie Marbury, a prominent theatrical agent, she decorated their shared home. Marbury convinced DeWolf to turn her talents into a business, leading her to become America's first interior decorator. Her motto of suitability, simplicity, and proportion was a far cry from the heavy and ornate Victorian style of the time. She later married Sir Charles Mendel, a platonic arrangement that gave her the title Lady Mendel. The following is a list that I like to call Lady Mendel's Top 10. Elsie DeWolf introduced chintz to upper-class American society. It was previously thought of as an inexpensive and contrived fabric before she brought it into her garden rooms. Her abundant use of it in her designs earned her the nickname of the chintz lady. DeWolf loved using cheetah skin in her designs and became known for it. She frequently used mirrors to expand the space, including mirrors with images. She also claimed to create the first mirrored fireplace. exotic chinoiserie to create beautiful spaces through intricate furnishings and wall coverings. She loved her dogs and had a pet cemetery at her home in France, with each headstone reading, the one I love best. She was well known in the world of fashion throughout her life. Never a great actor, she was most appreciated on stage for how she could wear a dress. In her later life, she was named by the Parisian press as the best dressed woman in the world. century French furnishings and French proportions created the light feeling she strove for in her spaces, especially when paired with a coat of white paint. Indoor garden rooms covered in trellises were popular at the time across Europe. She popularized this practice in the U.S., including it in her first job as a professional decorator, the Colony Club. Her passion for fitness led her to practice yoga and even become known for doing headstands in public. Society woman at heart, she loved throwing large, extravagant parties. Her biggest and most well-known soiree, complete with acrobats, clowns, tightrope walkers, and a pony performance directed by Lady Mendel herself, is the circus ball held at her beloved French home, Le Le Trianon. This series of images is of actress Holland Taylor and designer Mario Boada reenacting scenes from Lady Mendel's life. The wolf's influence is seen throughout the world of design through the decorators that followed her. This includes, but is definitely not limited to, the Prince of Chimps himself, Mario Boada, Tony Duquette, whom she discovered, Albert Hadley, Charlotte Moss, Peter Rogers, and Mark Hampton. I even noticed some possible Lady Mendel inspiration in this year's Pantone Colors of the Year, Rose Quartz and Serenity.